Welcome to Is That You're Here. If you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So y'all saw the title, we're diving right in with an outre unit. This is from their Melted Hairline series, and her name is Divine. I've seen quite a few reviews on Divine, and I was immediately floored by her. I was like, I need this wig. So I'm excited to try her out and let y'all know how I feel about her. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Melted Hairline collection, this collection is like my favorite hair collection right now, primarily because they are really stepping it up when it comes to synthetic wigs in this collection. You'll see the care card here and it shows you all the different colors that are available. And y'all know one thing I love about Outre is the way that they do color on their units. And inside it tells you all the distinct features from this collection. Main thing that stands out to me is the hairline, like hello. <laughs> The fact that you can get this type of pre-plucked hairline on a synthetic unit of this price point is pretty awesome. I also love the ear-to-ear -ear lace and the fact that they have this ear contour. So honey, if you have a hairline that comes forward on your on your head, on your forehead, have no fear. The Comfort Fit Ear Contour is here. And you can see how it's looking here. I didn't glue this all the way down, by the way, but you see it comes all the way down like a third way through my ear. You don't see that on synthetic wigs outside of this collection. So I think that's a very unique feature. It also comes with soft HD transparent lace. It comes with five inch parting space. It has natural baby hairs at the perimeter and it has an elastic band attached. And I must say the elastic band is fitting very snug. I don't know if they changed the band or if I'm confusing it with the Perfect Hairline collection, but this is a firm band for my medium size 22.3 circumference head. So let's just dive right into the pros. For me, pros of this unit absolutely has to be the melted hairline. And I just wanna get up close so you can see what I'm talking about here. Like, I, even the way they did the baby hairs, y'all, is, hold on. Even the way they did the baby hairs, y'all, this is how some people's natural baby hairs look. I really like how they do that. And you see how the comfort fit contour goes all the way around here on both sides. Awesome. Also, your girl did not glue all this down. Like, I did this side only because it was looking funny on camera and I just wanted it to lay right. But I didn't glue down the rest of this. So right here, you will see, this is glueless, mama. Glueless! Do you see me? <laughs> I am really feeling this transparent lace. When HD Lace first came to the synthetic wig market, it started with Bobby Boss, and that lace was ashy white and took so much work. Once you got it to your right complexion and blended down, it was fine. However, the work was, oh Lord, did you, did, like, <laughs> I tried out Bobby Boss Kava and my arms were hurting. I felt like I did a 20 minute workout and I'm just trying to blend some lace. But what I appreciate about Outre Melted Hairline is that it blends down nicely. The lace color originally isn't like a brown lace, it's more like a khaki color, but I love the way it melts down. I mean, come on y'all, y'all see this, I'm in natural sunlight. It looks so good. Be mindful though, this is soft HD transparent lace, and I've heard a lot of people say that their lace has ripped very easily. I haven't experienced it yet, but it happens. So just be very careful when dealing with this lace. So yeah, overall construction of this unit is a pro to me. I just feel like the hairline, the elastic band, the ear contour, 
all of it is A1. To me, this Melted Hairline series is, is giving me quintessential synthetic wig in 2021. Like, this is how I want my synthetic wigs to come. And oh my goodness, the price. Y'all, this is under $40. $37 to $39 on most websites. The price is absolutely right. So when purchasing this unit, I just feel like I'm getting a really good deal considering I'm getting all these bells and whistles with the construction. Now, as far as the cons to this particular unit, Here's what was kind of bothering me. Like with Divine, right? When I saw her on other people, I was like, wow, she looks glorious. Like she looks so beautiful, bouncy, and voluminous. But I'm not getting volume right now. Like I, when I was styling her, I kept going like this, you know, trying to make something shake up here. And, and she'll do it, but then she will kind of fall a little bit. Like she's pretty, the style is pretty. But I just wish there was like maybe one more track on each side. I think maybe that will give me the volume I'm looking for because the layers are done pretty well. It's just, I need just a little bit more hair, which is interesting for me to say because I like lighter density units and t trust me, this unit divine here is gonna be perfect for spring and summer. If you don't like a lot of hair on your neck, on your chest, this is the type of unit you need. But yeah, I just, I just need a little bit more right there. I want this bang to like be like bow bow, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> it's not really giving me that right now. <laughs> and another thing I noticed about the curl, ugh, what the hell? And another thing I noticed that some of these curls keep kind of like sticking out a little bit. And so I, I, I just feel myself wanting to kind of constantly fix the curl, if that makes sense. I do want to wear this unit out. I'm actually going out with a friend tomorrow. I may actually wear this out and see how I feel like with her in real time. But I find myself wanting to constantly rake through <laughs> this hair. I'm like, what am I doing, Gladys? Put your hands down. <laughs> Get it together. As far as the texture, I would say this is on the silkier side, but there's still a little yak in her. Like I can feel a little bit of the weight in the hair when I run my fingers through her. But yes, y'all, let me know how you feel about Miss Divine. Is she divine or not? <laughs> let me know in the comments. I think she she's looking pretty good. And I'm actually feeling my look right now with the dark lipstick, the lip gloss. I got this from Juvia's Place. I am going to start linking things in the description box outside of the hair, like linking my clothing or lip stick or makeup items because you all have been asking me and I'm like let me just get that together for my girls but yeah can't complain too much about this one would I buy her again oh I don't see myself buying her again to be honest look, look let me just keep her true with y'all you know what it is when Altrey Kamaya came out I don't know she is just like at the top when it comes to synthetic wigs for me. Like, Kamaya is the bay of all bays. So when I saw Divine, I immediately started comparing her to Kamaya because she's from the same collection and she looks like her baby sister. But she's not giving me the oomph that Kamaya gives me, especially in that ginger brown color, oh my God. I think it's because, the, you know, the density con is just making me like put her a little bit lower on the totem pole. <sighs> so yeah. It's almost as if like, if, if she don't make me feel like Kamaya makes me feel, I don't want it again. <laughs> Is that bad to say? <laughs> Am I biased? Oh Lord. I, that's just how I feel. I actually bought Kamaya again, twice. I have her in a one and a number two. And the only reason why I bought them in like natural colors, two of them, is because I saw the one, it was like the last one, I just grabbed it. And then it restocked like two weeks later. And I was like, no, I actually wanted the two. So I just grabbed that too. I'm like, look, I'm not gonna get tired of the wig. I may as well buy multiple now. Honestly, I wanna show y'all Kamaya in the natural color because y'all only saw me rock her in the ginger brown. Do y'all wanna see that? I think I should just show y'all really quick before we end this video. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, fam, I'm back with Miss Kamaya. And do you see me? <laughs> this wig. <laughs> 2021 just started and it's already my favorite wig of the year. Seriously, I did review this wig before, but I had to bring her back for the new year with this new camera so y'all can really see me and see this slut. Do y'all see this hairline? Let me get close. Look at this hairline. Synthetic wear. 
How is this a synthetic wig? Can someone please tell me? I don't understand. I don't. I don't get it. I literally love everything about this unit. I love the texture. It reminds me of being back in the Bronx and I feel like I just got a Dominican blowout. For real, for real. And just so you understand the difference, with um, Miss Divine here, you see this texture? It's smoother, it's silkier. This reminds me of a relaxer. This reminds me of texture hair that has been blown out and pressed a bit. So I hope you all can see the difference here in texture. Divine is cute and all, but this texture right here is what I love. On top of the fact that the construction of this wig is impeccable, the parting space is great, the cap fits me very well, I am using the elastic band and it's fitting me very snug right now. If you have a larger head, maybe don't use the elastic band or just cut it out. Also, this ear to ear contour with the comfort fit ear contour, whatever, it looks really good. I mean, come on, y'all. I didn't even pluck this wig. <laughs> Keep sleeping on the Melted Hairline series. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. Keep sleeping. This is literally the best collection out right now for your dollar. The fact that most of these units range around the $40 price range is just awesome to me. And it gives the frontal effect without having all the parting space. So if you like the frontal look, you like when hairs look like it's coming out of your scalp, but you don't want to pay human hair prices or even higher synthetic wig prices because other companies do this but have more parting space and are just of a higher price point. If you want something that's more affordable for the look, get with the Melted Hairline Collection. I'm sure you'll find a style that you like. One thing I would love to see though this year is for Outre to release more wigs in this texture specifically for the Melted Hairline series. Can we get some battle curls? You know what I mean? Can we get some fair faucet curls? Maybe make it fall like around 22 inches? Oh my god, I would love that. Absolutely would love that. I just can't stop looking at her. <laughs> so yes y'all, let me know how you feel about Divine and Kamaya. Let me know which one's your favorite. Y'all already know which one is my favorite. Of course, Queen Kamaya. Please talk to me in the comments and let me know yours. And if you are new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos that are coming up. I know I've been gone for a minute, but your girl is back and I have a lot more slaves coming your way. Also, Premiere Party, thank you for joining me. If you want to be a part of the Premiere Party, all you have to do is make sure your notifications are on so that you know what I'm about to post. My schedule is at this point three times a week. Tuesdays and Saturdays are supposed to be my set days. Definitely Tuesday, but Saturday has been up in the air. And then the third day is whatever day I choose throughout the week. So that's why it's so important to make sure the YouTube notifications are on and ready. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, make sure you check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and for joining me today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.